morning everybody what is going on it's girl keisha welcome to my show the novel keisha all right so we can be speaking about a, a very popular instagram model influencer okay she went by the name of miss mercedes moore but her real name is janae gagner okay so miss janae gagner was found dead deceased in her apartment in texas in richmond texas so her father was very concerned because he wasn't hearing from his daughter and then he finally decides to go to her home only to find the worst nightmare ever for a parent is your child dead deceased gone not coming back to you okay he found her dead near her staircase and not only did he find her body but he also found the suspect body who name is kevin a carto okay so he's about 34 years old she was 33 years old and they believe that it was a murder suicide so her father is saying her parents are saying that they had no clue how this guy found her but they believe that he was an actual stalker you guys already know when you're famous when you're popular you have a huge following chances are you're going to have a stalker you're gonna have some crazed fan now they may not do or go to the extreme what Kevin did but it's still a possibility okay it's still a very huge possibility all right so he was found with traumatic trauma to his head she was found strangled and also had blunt force trauma so he did a number on her and to die by strangulation is so hard because you're suffering that takes minutes to, to choke somebody out and then watch the life, their soul slip away. That's sick. So they're saying that they don't think that they have any type of connection, that there was no type of familiarity between those two. They believe he was simply a crazed fan, a stalker that decided to meet her in person and take her out okay so it's still an ongoing investigation this is sad because that was a beautiful girl you know she had a lot going on but she was a beautiful girl and her father was so concerned about his daughter he said that because of her increased fame because of her increased popularity because of her beauty he was nervous and scared for his daughter that a, a man would just come out of nowhere and try to harm his daughter and his worst nightmare came true it actually became a reality for him now now he has to bury his own daughter his own princess people have to be careful because a lot of sick depraved sadistic people out here that if they can't have you they would take you out if i can't have you nobody can some people take it too too far you know it's one thing you're gonna be a fan if you're gonna be a ride or die fan but don't be a ride or die fan and literally take it to ride or die and you really really act on that that is sick and crazy they were both young so, there, again, like I said before, there's an investigation, but I think this is a really sad case because when I heard the story, I'm just like, what? But then this is what happens a lot of times when people are famous. I won't say this happened, I wouldn't say this happened a lot of times, but this is a huge possibility. So women, especially women who are influencers, women that are, you know, uh, showing body, showing skin, and, you know, posing in very sexy, you know, um, lewd you know poses then you have to understand and take into consideration that there's going to be some some dude out there maybe some female too honey but there may be some dudes out there that will really take it far that will really want to hurt you that will really want to attack you and then some people are above out to feel that oh because i'm a fan oh because i support you they're entitled to have you and that's not how it works but a lot of people don't see it that way. A lot of people feel like, well, I support you. I'm a fan of you. I got love for you. I show you love. What you going to do for me? Not a damn thing. Not a damn thing. But people feel entitled. You know, this guy didn't have to come to her home and, and strangle her and kill her. Now two parents have to bury their daughter. It's really, really sad. So we have to see any new information that comes out, you know. But like I said, women and men have to be careful because a lot of people will run up on you. You think that they won't. They would and they could. So you have to be very, very careful when it comes down to being famous, when it comes down to wanting to be popular, when it comes to wanting to be an influence. Everybody has to be careful. 
because you never know who's wa who's watching you, who's plotting on you, and who's scheming on you. So you have to be very careful. She was only 33 years old. That's a young woman. That's still a baby. And then now they have to bury her. Drake also made a, a tribute to her in Lover's Boy. He gave a tribute to her. So, you know, people are going to be showing her love. But like I said, this is really sick. For you to go ahead and kill her and then kill yourself. Like, dude, what the hell? What you, tell me what you guys think of this case. Do you believe that he was a crazy stalker? Uh, do, you think that, do you think these people had any type of affiliation with each other? Do you believe that he was more than just a stalker? Leave a comment, like, and subscribe. And come back with some more. All right, peace.